Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,239. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1,239 to 1,240 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey there, I just watched a great video at YouTube from Pumsco at YouTube. If you're not checking out his videos, you are missing out on a lot. And he actually showed a formula for leap year which I have used before, but in his video he showed you some crazy formula that Microsoft support suggests you can use. And then of course he goes on to show this awesome formula I'm going to show you. Now the question is, is it leap year? So we have all these dates, we have a column of dates, and we just need to say true or false. When is it a leap year? Well, that's when there's 29 days in February. So we can actually, from any one of these dates, construct a new date using the date function and put 29 in as the day. And when it comes out February 29th, we know it's a leap year. We're going to use the function date. Now, date allows us to construct a date if we put a year, month, and day in. Now, we always want to check the actual year that this date is. So I'm going to use the year function to extract just the year from the date. So for example, year will deliver 2002, 2003, 2004. So I'm going to close parentheses. And it will deliver that to the year argument in date, comma. The rest of this is easy. I want month 2, comma, and day 29. Now, the amazing thing about the date function right here is if I put 29 into February and it doesn't have 29 days, it'll automatically go to the first day in March. If it does have 29 days, then the date function will give us 229 2002. So I'm going to close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So of course, this gives us March and March because 2002 and 2003 are not leap years. But boom, there it is, 2004. It's a leap year, so it delivers the proper date. Now we want a true or false. Actually, we could do this a few ways. I could wrap the day function around this and say, are you equal to 29? Or we could use the month function. And month just takes a serial number, which the date function is delivering. And if I control enter, and guess what? That is number formatting. If you look up here, it says date. I want to wipe it away because I want to see what month it is, 2, 3, 4, 5, et cetera, or in our case, 2 or 3. I can apply the general number formatting to wipe away all number formatting, or I can use the keyboard control shift grave accent or tilde. Control shift tilde grave accent. That gives us the three. Double click and send it down so we can see it's a two that we're interested in. Now I double clicked and sent this formula down, and there's an active cell at the top. I'm going to hit the F2 key to put just the active cell in edit mode, and at the end, I'm going to say equal sign, which is a comparative operator. Two. Now, anytime you use a comparative operator in a formula like this, it converts it to a logical formula that only delivers true or false. So now, that edited formula will deliver a true when it sees a 2. Any other number, it'll say false. Now, check this out. The formula is in the active cell. So now, when I hold Control and Enter, it populates that edited formula all the way down. And now I have true, true and so on, only when I am in leap year. Man, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Pumsco. We'll see you next video.